We're watching the fires hopscotch from one house to another. Absolute devastation. The firefight lasted all night as flames tore through this enclave of multi-million dollar homes. By daylight, it was clear the inferno had devoured nearly everything in its path. It's just something that Mother Nature is in control and we aren't. These are the worst fires in 30 years in this area, whipped by 70 mile per hour winds. They blow through the canyons, picking off house by house. It looked like a nuclear bomb had struck, and it's unbelievable. The fire just roared up this canyon, engulfing this house, and they've just declared it a total loss. I can't tell you how hot it is right here, but the big concern now is the neighbor's house next door. Firefighters tried to protect it as a garage nearby blew up. 2,500 acres have been incinerated so far and dozens of homes burned to the ground. Thousands have been evacuated and at least three people have been taken to hospitals and treated for burns. The fire also destroyed a dormitory on a college campus in Montecito and a mountaintop monastery. I don't think there's much left. Jennifer Johnson lost her home of 10 years. She could barely recognize what was left. Life deals you some, some tough clothes and you pick it up and keep going. This area is also home to the rich and famous. Back to the Future star Christopher Lloyd's house was charred, while Oprah Winfrey's Montecito mansion was spared. Unfortunately, a lot of people are going to be coming home to scenes like this one. This actually used to be somebody's front door. It's now totally destroyed. And you know, the one good thing is the winds have been relatively calm today, so firefighters are making some progress. But tonight, they say 1,500 homes in this area are still literally in the line of fire. Russ? Ben Tracy in Montecito, California. Thank you.